Well, another video of me guessing how other people shot their movies. First off, I thought we'd look at The Whale. This whole movie is shot on a set, with the exception of a few exterior shots here and there. They're shooting this on the Sony Venice 2, and these are the Ongino Optimo Prime lenses. It's a very dimly lit, low contrast sort of looking movie. So from these behind the scenes shots, you can see they're lighting a lot of the set from the inside, and it's mostly motivated by these practical lamps. So this is the director here, and that's the camera on a Ronin 2 gimbal on this dolly and this monitor here would be for the dolly grip so they can see what they're doing. And the reason you might have it on a gimbal like this on the dolly and not having a person operating with a pan and tilt head is, well one, you can be a lot smoother on the gimbal but it's, it's sometimes just one less person to have in this small room and you can get the camera right up close to the actors. Sometimes the eye line you can get tighter as well. Maybe it's also something to do with COVID. You can see they've got this Leco type light up here and that's a great light to have on set because you can shoot it across the room to have a bit of light somewhere or you can bounce it into a board as a fill light or a key light. It's just a really versatile light that you always see on set. Also these lights up here in the ceiling are Titan tubes with some diffusion over them and they're adding some top ambient light to the room and creating some color separation sometimes. You can see they're cooler on some shots and then other, on other shots they're warmer. You can see it in the top of his head here. These little custom made box lights here, looks like they're being used to enhance the light from the lamps that are next to the couch and so on. You can see it here, and this one might be hitting something in the background of this shot. Then in this shot, it's pointed more as an edge light on him. You can see this is it here. So it looks like they're using lots of smaller LED lights and they're mixing this sort of daylight that's coming in from the windows and then these tungsten lights inside. All right, this next movie, Banshee of Inner Sharon, that I watched recently that I found some behind the scenes for. It's a movie that takes place on this island about two guys and their friendship falling apart. I thought we'd look at the BTS of this scene here with this big light that they're using. So this sequence starts out with him in this shop, then he walks outside to leave. This cop comes over, punches him, he's lying on the ground here. Then this other character comes over, helps him up, then they head on back home. So this first moment here, it looks like that's the actual sun beaming in the room. Then they go outside and shoot this next part on maybe another day or maybe just later in the day and the sun's completely gone. So they get out this big lamp to keep some light continuity. It definitely doesn't look the same as the amount of daylight when he was inside, but you know, it still looks nice and it probably looks nicer now maybe than it would if the sun was out. It's got that sort of end of the day feel as the sun's setting and peeking through the clouds. But then it follows onto this next scene and it's a lot brighter all of a sudden. But you know, lighting continuity doesn't really matter. It's, it's pretty close. It's a cloudy day, the sun's going in and out. No one really watches a movie and thinks, hey, this shot was as the sun was setting and now this shot looks like it's several hours earlier. People just forgive that stuff and don't really see it. Here's another moment inside this bar they shoot in quite a lot. So from this behind the scenes shot, you can see they have this T-bar diffusion, which is creating this light on his face. Then outside, They've probably got that big lamp again coming through the window, creating this edge light on his face. You can see in this moment here, they're using Titan tubes with egg crates on them. A couple of small tungsten lights hitting these guys in the background. Lots of haze, low hanging prac lamps. Looks really nice. Here it looks like they've got two cameras shooting cross coverage. And cross coverage is when you have two cameras filming each person in a conversation at the same time. And usually you have to sacrifice the shape of the lighting sometimes, but you know, this still looks good because they're sitting next to this window. They've probably got that big lamp coming through the window again. And then you can see they've put these white cards up here on the wall and then bouncing some light into it. And that's creating the soft light on their face. Then they've probably got another one on this side as well, which is doing the same and acting like a soft edge fill light. I noticed there's lots of moments in this movie with characters looking through windows from the outside. And I saw this one and thought, you know, this can be a little tricky to light sometimes when you have a character like this close in on the window. You have to put the light inside to hit him standing outside. And it sort of starts to feel just a little bit unnatural. You can see that little hard light shadow on his nose because there's nowhere else to get any lights in from the outside. So they're lighting his face just enough to see him because, you know, he's got stuff to say. And it's an overcast day. And then this is what it cuts to, a sunny, hazy interior. This is one of those moments when everyone looks at the monitor and looks at you as the DP and they're like, dude, is this gonna match? And you're just like, yeah, it's fine, it's all good. 
If it looks good, that's all that matters. Thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. So if you don't know, Storyblocks is a huge archive website for filmmakers. It has over a million 4K and HD clips, animation templates, music, sound effects, photos, and much more. It's a monthly subscription, and then you can just download and use as much as you want. They're constantly adding new videos, images, audio files to the platform at no extra cost for members. So there's always fresh stuff to use on there. Go and check out Storyblocks with the link that's in the description I have below. This is a movie I haven't seen, but I came across these behind the scenes clips and thought, I think there's something interesting here. It's called American Underdog. It's a bit more of a commercial looking family movie, I guess. And that's because it probably is, you know, but it still looks good. It seems like they're shooting on the Alexa with some Panavision anamorphics. So let's look at some of the lighting in this bar. They've installed a bunch of these Titan tubes in the ceiling of this bar and they've just left them in the shot. So it's acting like set dressing, but it's also a key light for the conversation around this bar. And filmmakers would probably know that it's lighting equipment, but the average person wouldn't know. Up here in the ceiling, it looks like they've added some black fabric around some of these ceiling lights to control the spill that would be going everywhere from them and just to keep it dark and moody. And again, they've just left them in the shot. You can't really tell what it is back there. There's just, there's so many other lights and people and stuff going on. So as he's walking, he's being lit from those tubes in the bar. Then you can also see in this shot here, they have this diffusion fabric with this warmer light in it. And that would be giving this light here on his face. It looks nice. Here's another shot with his two characters on the dance floor with this great tungsten lighting rig above them. You can see on the monitor here, everything's shot pretty standard. They're shooting 24 frames, 180 shutter, 800 ISO, and they've got the Kelvin at 4,000. So it would make it just a little bit warmer. And you can see right on the edge of the camera here, they have this light through a diffusion frame with a grid on it, just to add a bit more shape to the lighting of the shot. So that top light in shot would be giving this edge light and that diffusion frame light on the floor would be adding this light here on his face. Then they head out for this big crane shot, which is on a panther crane. And I've used this exact model many times before. You can either attach a remote head on the end of it like they have, or there's a platform you can put on there and you can ride on it. So they walk out to the car and you can see this big lamp up here, adding this sort of cool colored wash of light in the background. And then these here look like the Titan tubes again, which is just in every movie nowadays, it seems. And then when they're out here, they have this warm tungsten softbox above them. And the reason I know that is because in this previous shot, when he arrives, you can see it in the glass reflection. All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.